late on who, who's the hot guy. They're sharing the ball extremely well today, Charlie. Very unselfish basketball today by, by the Pirates. They'll play their next game Monday against St. Peter's at home, then against St. Mary's, Monmouth, and Penn State. Like I said, they only play five non-conference games away from home, and that's pretty good scheduling on the part of the Seton Hall administration. Good looking freshman at the line. I like this kid, Eugene Harvey. He'll be a very good basketball player in the Big East. Freshman point guard does a tremendous job. Biggest lead by Seton Hall today was 26 points. They have a 25 point advantage right now. This is the fifth time that these two teams have met. First time they met was back in 1986. Last year they met at Continental Airlines Arena and Seton Hall won that with 93-46. Pirates led at the half 52-19, but improved their record to seven and three for the season with that win. Morgan at that time fell to 0-2 and Morgan uh, was uh, went on an 18 game losing streak last year you know they're right now on a seven game losing streak and you take the last four games of last season and the first three of this year they'll be okay new coach new players they need some adjustment time here what you want to do right now as a basketball coach in a game like this charlie is when you get down by 25 points you can't lose your composure you have to continue to stay and see if you can get better the last 10 minutes of this basketball game. See if you can run your half-court offense. See if you can execute. Even though you're down 25, you can still have a learning experience the last 10 minutes of this game. Well, you saw a shot of Todd Bozeman on the sideline, one of those few coaches that are able to rebound from a show cause banned by the NCAA, but Todd never gave up hope. He coached uh, summer league teams, uh, held basketball camps for kids, and out of several NBA teams and even did some broadcasting with me while he was away from basketball as a coach and there were numerous openings during that time that he was out in which his name kept coming up but uh, they were all scratched his name from consideration because of the ban he couldn't even get a job as an assistant coach because of the ban a lot of programs were afraid to touch it what I like about Todd is he, is he, he stood up as a man and said he made a mistake you got to appreciate that. He didn't try to hide anything. He didn't say, well, I didn't do it. You know, you're wrong. He stood up, made a stand for himself. Got to appreciate that. Needless to say, he's learned his lesson. And here's a three-pointer from downtown by Reggie Holmes. See, that's what you want to see. You want to see him keep playing, even though under 25, the energy's still there. Come down. They were trying to get in the press. Bobby Gonzalez calls timeout immediately. Stop this run. It was almost from the three-point line. Good penetrate and kick. Joseph McClain drives it, kicks it out to Reggie Holmes. Reggie Holmes nails the three. You know what? It's amazing, Charlie. When you make shots, when you make shots as a basketball coach, as a basketball team, when you're making shots, man, it looks like you're pretty doggone good. Yeah. But when that ball doesn't go in the basket, <laughs> you might be running your offense tremendous, Charlie. Execution is really good. Getting good looks doesn't go in the basket. I guess that's bad coaching then, huh? <laughs> that's what we all get blamed for. Oh, you guys can't shoot. Pretty amazing how it works. Bobby Gonzalez on the sideline. That guy's wired for 220 right there. High energy guy trying to bring Seton Hall Pirates back into the dominance of the Big East, which they've had great success the last three or four years with, under Louis Orr. The change with Bobby Gonzalez now. 5-0 run for the Bears at Morgan State in the last 30 seconds. So if they could keep up that kind of energy, they could let's get themselves back in it. Morgan State, 2 of 10 from three-point range. Three-point range, Seton Hall, 2 of 9. You gotta keep chipping away. You just can't get it all back at one time. You gotta chip away. You gotta get some stops. And that's what Morgan State's trying to do right now. They switch on that ball screen. Get a couple more stops. We'll see what happens. And there's an offensive defensive rebound, and here they're running. And a foul, and they're going to go to the free throw line. For some reason, the shot clock never reset, and it should have. First game for the score keepers today. The timekeepers have had some problems today. But it's their first time out, too. First game jitters for everybody, Charlie. Forgot to reset the shot clock. As you look at Bobby Gonzalez, we talked about the fact that he got married in the offseason. Very short honeymoon. He says, I hope this honeymoon at, Saint, at uh, Seton Hall lasts a lot longer than the one I had. And, and you know what? 
I, not marriage, but the honeymoon. <laughs> they, say, they say his wife is a very good-looking lady, too, Charlie. And then once again, it just shows you that Bobby Gonzalez overachieves again. <laughs> he called his honeymoon a mini one. I hear you. <laughs> he didn't stay long because he had to go to work. Well, he's he ready a, for the season. He's a workaholic. That guy's like I said before, he's wired for 220. That he is a high-energy guy, nonstop, recruiter, relentless. Now, one of the things in recruiting those two high-powered guards as Gauze comes up with the steal and one. That's a tremendous, tremendous play by Paul Goss. Anticipation with the steal. Keeps, the, keeps from going out of bounds on the sideline. Lays it in, takes it strong. Tremendous, tremendous presence on his part to get the steal, stay in bounds, take it to the basket, and finish and get the end one. Paul Goss at the line, and now he makes the three-point play the old-fashioned way which is always good to see. I like the old-fashioned three better than the three ball myself, Charlie. I'm an inside guy, take it to the hole, hit the contact, get one, go to the free throw line. I love it. 63-41, the score right now. Here's a turnover again. And the end one. As Gerald Green picks up the personal foul, and Eugene Harvey, that freshman, Green with his fourth personal foul and Harvey watch Harvey he'll take it in for two more well Gerald Green on the steal Gerald Green thinks he's going to take the charge but he throws his shoulder into him gives if he would have stayed square he might have had a chance to draw the charge but he turns his body correct call on that most of the line finishes a three-point play again the old-fashioned way 66-41 25 point lead it was a 20 point game a while ago, but now Seton Hall is playing relentless defense. And there's a pass off. Good block. But Bill Myers right there for the follow. Good block by Coley. Swats it away. Graham Bill Meyer, right place, right time. Gets the ball, puts it back in, keeps it again above his, above his head, lays it in for the easy two. 27-point lead right now for the visitors. The Pirates of Seton Hall enjoying the advantage. And we'll be back in a moment. Sixty-eight forty-one is our score here with 741 remaining and you're looking at the next five games for the Pirates of Seton Hall. They'll take on St. Peter's, St. Mary's, Monmouth, Penn State and Virginia Tech. They have a little bit of flavor with different conferences. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tripping in there to Penn, with Penn State being from the Big Ten playing Virginia Tech ACC. So they're uh, cross conference in a little bit which is good. Yeah, that game with Virginia Tech is the 21st. Uh, and I think that'll be played up in New York at the, uh, the Classic at Madison Square Garden. Always fun to play in the garden, coach in the garden. One of the mecca arenas in the nation. 
Something about the guard when you